A major blow today to the crux of former President Trump's legal defense as a federal appeals court in Washington, D.C. ruled against his broad claim of immunity. A three-judge panel rejected the Trump team's argument that he could not be charged for efforts to overturn the 2020 election that culminated in the January 6 Capitol attack because he was acting in his role as president at the time of the alleged crimes. The judges, two Democrat-appointed, one Republican, Republican unanimously agreed that, quote, former President Trump's stance would collapse our system of separated powers by placing the president beyond the reach of all three branches, adding we cannot accept that the office of the presidency places its former occupants above the law for all time thereafter. They referred to him as, quote, citizen Trump with all of the defenses of any other criminal defendant. The former president on social media slammed what he called a nation-destroying ruling, repeating his argument that a president must have full immunity to properly function and avoid, quote, the opposite party's vicious retribution after leaving office. The Trump campaign has already said he will appeal the ruling. If the Supreme Court ultimately decides to take the case, timing will be critical. Mr. Trump running to take back the White House is already fundraising off the ruling, again seeking to turn his legal woes to his political advantage. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. On Thursday, the Supreme Court will hear arguments in a separate case over whether former President Trump should be allowed on the ballot in Colorado after that state Supreme Court ruled he should be disqualified because he engaged in insurrection. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.